good morning. We've been camping at uh, Jackson Reservoir in Colorado. And we ran out of battery power for our heater last night. Our battery got down to 9.8 volts and stopped working. And it was 34 degrees outside. So we are freezing, or we were, until we turned on the diesel motor of the van. Here's what it's like. The reality picture of van life. <laughs> I'm making breakfast and the girls are still asleep. <clears throat> Pancakes. Got two sitting here warm. My pancake, nice warm one, warm you up. Yeah. Whew, it was cold. It was so cold last night. It woke me up. We ran out of battery power. Really? Yeah, I had to turn the, uh, the diesel engine on to charge the Revel's interior system so that we could actually turn the heat on and stay warm. And um, the engine's been running since about 2.30 this morning, which is when I turned it on. Um, we've got the AMG batteries were down below 10 volts, which is probably not very good for them. Uh, the only thing we were running was the refrigerator and the S-Bar heater and we ran completely out of juice. And that was after making dinner last night. Of course, we cooked three times yesterday. We cooked breakfast, lunch, and dinner on the induction oven. Yeah, and the power went super low and we just ran out of juice. And it was so cold, it was probably 34 degrees last night. Today, it's supposed to snow. Um, this is our last day here and I'm making breakfast. The girls are just waking up. One of them's on the middle bed, one of them's back in the big bed. We had one sleeping under the other bed, but last night we were all together because we were so cold. And I'm having my coffee. Uh, I think this pancake here is done. Who wants a pancake? Me. I do. Sarah? Oh. Harley? Yes. Harley, do you want a pancake? Yes. All right, this one's got your name on it. It says Harley right here. Now, do you want syrup on it? No. You want me to do this real quick and make, set this up so you can sit here at the table? Because no. otherwise you might get food on this, this stuff. Let's do this real quick. Let me, let me, let me rearrange so that Aww. you're... Is that okay? It'll just take me a second. You can still have this. Just cuddle it all up in the little seat, okay? Okay. okay. She said yes. All right, here we go. <sighs> Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it did not rain, no, but it was, very windy. it was super windy. So windy that um, it was so windy last night. Um. So windy that it woke me up. All right, let's do this. So what I'm gonna do is have you move over to that seat. This is like a puzzle. It's like one of those slide puzzles. All right, then you gotta keep this on if you don't have any clothes on. You gotta keep this on. All right, scooch, scooch. So the pillow. Pants. Make sure you know where you put your pants. Um, Alright. Let's do this. Okay, I'm going to hold this up. You hold that. Put this around. Ooh, the bottom of this is nice and warm. Yeah. Put that like that. That. Uh. 
that. Oh yeah. Yeah, lift up the table thing. This down. Take the laundry bag. Throw it over there. Curtain up. Pull it back. You move over here with your pants. <laughs> you might want to put your pants over there first. <laughs> All right, now you move over here. Straighten my leg. <laughs> All right. Get the shuffle, shuffle, shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> Okay, it's like my, my, my worm, wormy here, having breakfast. Here's a pancake for you, here's some syrup for you. Get you a fork and a knife. Do you need a knife or just a fork? Uh, knife too. You want a knife, okay. Knife for you. Sarah, do you want a pancake? Come join us, honey. You get to seat in the big, the big captain's chair if you want. We're all gonna have pancakes real quick. And then you can have a second breakfast. We're gonna have today's two breakfast morning. Come on out. Yeah, to uh, get my book, I, since I couldn't reach to open and get my book, I had to kind of shove it down there, and crouch down, and get my book, and then kind of. Oh, there. that's what you were doing. Yeah. You were doing like the super. Um, like year, what is that? What is that superhero from Fantastic Four? Rubber Woman? Or no, Elastic she's in The Incredibles. Woman. Elastic Woman. Elastic. Elastic Woman. Elastigirl. Elastigirl. Yeah. But she's not a girl. She's a woman, right? Yeah. What are they called? I don't know, but that's her name. Why is Elastigirl called Elastigirl instead of Elastic Woman? You get a pancake. I'm gonna have a pancake. We all get pancakes. I'm not fast. Sarah's going to just eat it because she's hungry. Look, she's not even going to use a fork. <laughs> all right, and we have plenty more syrups. You can use all that if you want to, or you can use none of it if you want to. So here's something interesting. We, uh, as I say, we had to turn the diesel on, on about 2.30 in the morning because we lost power from the batteries. We were getting cold. <laughs> Where'd you um, do? I was getting cold. Well, I was keeping you warm. That's why. That's. I was actually snuggling to one of the, one of the like things that hold up the, the bed. Yeah, that's good. Well, we turned the diesel on at two thirty. Batteries were below ten volts, and um, we've been running the diesel for about I guess what's well, eight a.m. now. So that's how many hours is that, guys? What is eight minus two and a half? I can't even think right now, I'm so tired. It's like five and a half. Five and a half. Five and a half hours of running the diesel engine, idling while we're sleeping and getting shook by the cold front that came in. Here's the battery voltage. After that much time, it's back up to 14.5 volts, marked as full. The inverter is saying it's super happy, sitting there at 14 volts. This is on the uh, stock AMG batteries in this Rebel. Um, so the problem is, I would say that the Rebel's probably set up to what, to basically drive every day, like you're traveling, and then your batteries are going to charge when you're driving, and then when you stop, you can cook, you can eat, you can have hot food, which is awesome. But I think if you're like boondocked and you're staying in one place for a couple days, I mean, we've only been here for two days and we ran our batteries all the way down and then we've been extremely conservative on power. But we've been cooking with the stove and we've been trying to boil water and all that stuff. I think it's worth it to go with lithium ions. 
I think the lithium ions are the way to go. That's the upgraded battery. You have so much power, more than twice the power that these have. And I think they're even lighter weight, so the energy density is a lot better. But oh man, we can survive. We survived because the diesel engine. We're not frozen. <laughs> and we're having our pancakes. <laughs>